The best moment, the best moment of my life was in court when the guy says, the United States versus John Stalliano. Was it all a dream? Did I really get acquitted? There's an interrogator probably coming back into the room any second now. And they want to find out what my deepest, darkest secrets are, what my next porno vision would be. Seriously? Seriously? Don't you think it was a great idea for me to have a green umbrella? Green umbrella? Walking out of the steps? Perfectly contrast with the rainy day? I should get credit for some art direction here on this thing, right? They made me feel like I was a criminal. I've already got fingerprinted by the FBI. They put me in a holding cell and they said, it's gonna be a long wait. I really feel like this is, you know, a big day in my life and I have the Justice Department to thank for picking me for this prosecution and I shall endeavor to not disappoint them. People should be able to watch whenever they want in their homes. They made me feel like I was a criminal. I take full responsibility for these movies, Milk Nymphos and Storm Squatters. Storm Squatters. I did not personally direct them. They were directed by other directors at my company. The law upon which I'm being prosecuted was passed in 1973. The whole spirit and idea of this obscenity prosecution has completely changed. Hopefully, maybe with this case, maybe sometime soon, the people will realize that this was not the intent of this Miller obscenity test. People should be able to watch whenever they want in their homes. They made me feel like I was a criminal. It's a really bad law. The judge determined that the evidence against me was so weak, so weak, it wasn't even worth going to the jury. During the course of this prosecution, I have had to think about what I do more, especially the idea of sex and hardcore pornography as it relates to human experience. It has been alleged that hardcore pornography is not artistic it's like there's no way you could call it art and yet everything that I do is about creating hardcore pornography that helps people see the potential in life that entertains people by showing people getting off intensely in new and creative ways and this to me seems to be art I did a movie called Fashionistas and a, and a stage show uh, that was based on the movie and the story was moved forward by this flash frame that was inserted in a video of a, of a woman being tied up and stretched to her limit. This image was portrayed in my movie as art and this image to me is something that arouses me sexually but more fundamentally it, it touches what it is I want myself to be as a person. I want to be somebody who stretches to my limits. We're interested in seeing people pushing themselves to their limits in all areas, and sex is one of them, and it's a very powerful area. And to see somebody who's not just doing like normal sex where, oh, okay, we're getting off here, oh, that's really intense, oh, I'm happy and I have my orgasm, as opposed to somebody who's doing fetish sex where they're playing with the idea of pain and pleasure or pushing themselves to their limits like breath control and experiencing an orgasm that's on way, way far another level, that is great art because we're seeing somebody go to another level and enjoying their lives in an incredibly intense manner. And I can't say anymore. That's it.